Welcome back. I'm Melissa. And I'm Sam. And, and we're, we're Full, Full Metal Metal. So it's been one year since we started this channel. Uh, we started it because you started to learn to play guitar. Yep. And we thought that the best way for you to learn to play guitar was we would make a video every week. <laughs> Out in the open. <laughs> yes, right in front of everybody. Front, yeah. And you've, you've done very well, obviously. Yes. In the last year, we have produced 55 videos. Uh, we've done 40 cover songs and seven original songs. Okay. All from your very, very uh, humble beginning yes of playing single notes it's been a progression yeah over the <laughs> the year making the videos definitely yeah going back and watching them yeah yeah anybody uh i urge everybody to go back to the very beginning and watch uh our first video where you can see basically where you started and then mm -hmm. watch our last video uh from last week where we played a, an original song and all of the progress in between. Yes, yes. So we thought we would do uh, basically kind of a clip show, our best of and worst of of the last year. Mm -hmm. And I figure we would start uh, with our least favorite video. Uh, so what was your <laughs> least favorite video and why? Well, speaking of just starting out, <laughs> the least favorite video would have to be the first video we made. Even Welcome to our channel. I'm Mel. And I'm Sam. And, and we're, we're full, full metal, metal Mel. Mel. <laughs> wow, that was terrible. That was terrible. <laughs> Even though it still holds a special place because it is our first video, it is super hard for me to go back and watch it just because I can see how uncomfortable I was and how unsure of everything. <laughs> the playing, the speaking, and all of it. So that was my choice. So that was not my choice. Uh, honestly, I really enjoy watching that video. Uh, it's a lot of fun to watch you. Super uncomfortable. <laughs> super stiff and and know, very like... very aware of the camera oh my goodness uh it was great <laughs> uh so my pick for uh least favorite video of ours was when we covered acdc's ride on my thumb in the air on one of these days i'm gonna change my evil ways And the reason for that is it's a very, very simple song that just, it, I mean, it kicked my ass. It really did. Yeah. I have no idea why, uh, but I just really, really struggled with it. Uh, I'm not a uh, very good singer and not a very experienced singer. And I was really, really struggling with between the guitar and the singing and I thought I had it pretty nailed the night before. We, yeah. You know, we always practice on Friday nights. And then come Saturday, filming day, I mean, I had to take a break at one point. I had to walk out of the, out of the yeah. room and, like, just take a little walk <laughs> around our backyard yeah. and calm down because I was getting so angry at myself. Yeah. Uh, and so frustrated over, I just kept making the, like the most simple mistake in the solo over and over and over again to where we had like 17 takes. It was a day. lot for, yeah, for Saturday. Was, uh, yeah. It was really, it was really, really frustrating me. And then to top it off, uh, we finally get it done and, and are like, okay, we're, you know, we're happy with it. It's, it's good enough. You know, let's, uh, let's edit it. Mm -hmm. And then literally nobody watched <laughs> it. Nobody watched it anyway. It got 
it's probably our least viewed video. One of the least, yeah. Yeah. There's uh, a couple uh, there, but yeah. I mean, it, it got half of our average, and our average is not huge. No, by not any means, means, no. But I mean, I'm I'm still very happy that you know 130 people a week watch us play a song. Yeah. Well, they didn't watch us play that song <laughs> after I had after I had had nearly a breakdown uh, yeah. while we were producing it. Right. So that's my least favorite. So moving on to something more fun, right. the things we actually enjoyed doing over the year. So our next category is our three uh, most fun songs to play and and uh and record yeah uh so what was your first what was your what was your third most fun and i guess these aren't really in i was gonna say it's hard to put them in any order it's even hard to narrow it down to just three because they're you know most of the songs have been fun to play you yeah. know I mean. Very true. Very, <laughs> if they, not all, but yeah, these, these were the favorite ones. These lists were, were very difficult because we enjoyed most of, I mean, almost every week we've really enjoyed yeah. performing the songs that we've performed. Yeah, absolutely. But anyway, so these are the ones that I chose just because I... I got into them. I had fun with it. I, you know, a lot of them I felt just relaxed with, and it was just kind of going with it. So mine were "Go with the Flow." Or I can go with the flow. Would you believe it in your head? It's so safe to play along. And um, that one was just kind of upbeat and just like bouncy and it was just super fun to play for me. The next one I chose was when we did two um, songs back to back in the same video and it was Manic Monday and Pretend We're Dead. Six o'clock already, I was just in the middle of a dream. I was kissing Valentino by a crystal blue Italian street. Those songs were just fun to play. They know? were. They were just, just fun to play. You know, you uh, just get right into them. And then the last um, one is kind of a group, and it was the Halloween videos. We did four of them during the month of yeah, October. Yeah, you copped out last <laughs> night when we were having our production meeting. You copped out on a third video and just chose the entire month of October. Absolutely, because I absolutely loved those videos. They were it fun. It was hard to pick one out of them. For we got <laughs> into it. We got really, really into it. I literally bought uh, fake yeah, those vampire, vampire teeth. teeth for us. And I had to go, in the middle of the pandemic, I had to go to a... a uh, uh, a pharmacy, right? Yeah, and ask for advice about how to glue fake teeth into our mouths week after week. Something that wasn't going to be permanent, but would stay in while I'm trying to sing and play guitar. And it was the month of October was a blast. We really, really enjoyed making all of those videos. It was just fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so for me, uh, so for me, it was also go with the flow. Uh, it was really fun to play. It was really fun to sing. And I actually, lear when I lear learned the solo, uh, learning the solo, uh, I actually learned a little bit of theory that right. was involved in the way that the, the solo was instructed. And instructed. The way that the solo was constructed. Const right, yeah. And, and it was just, all the way around, it was just a lot of fun uh, all week long as we as we worked on on learning that song and learning how to play it and then the day that we performed it i think we knocked it out in like two takes uh, yeah it, was, it was and we had a blast yeah we had an absolute blast doing it my next would be uh, an original time and time and time again i find myself in the same I 
wrote and we performed. And the reason for that was I, I had written this riff. And it's just, we're well, not going to hear it now because I have the amp on standby. But it's just a really, really fun, catchy riff to play. And I had finally, you had finally gotten to the point where I could write something like that and you could play it. Right. Which was, I mean, it really opens up a lot for us, for you reaching a certain level where, okay, we can do more creative things because you have the skills to do them now. Right, yeah. My number three was also from the Halloween series, and it was Bella Lugosi's Dead. that was fun is a i've been playing it since high school uh -huh. i figured out how to play it years and years ago me and my buddy joe used to actually do an acoustic cover of it what was really fun for me on that was that we weren't playing it acoustic and i've got a shit pile of effects yeah i mean just an absolute ton of effects and i was ap i was able to use almost all of them in that song and that oh, I yeah. just that just makes it fun for a for a guitar player uh when you actually have the toys and then get to play with them and it and it services the song it's not just gratuitous uh use of multiple fuzzes and reverb yeah, and delays it, fits. Yeah. it actually fits in the context of the song so that was a lot of fun for me yes um was also one of our longer songs we did. We didn't do the full like nine minute uh, right. Bauhaus version. We did like a six minute version of that song, uh, and it was that was just a lot of fun. I really really enjoyed doing that. Uh, so now our next category, next and final category, uh, our absolute favorite videos that we've made for varying reasons our top three the top three for each of us that we just really really enjoyed or sounded great or had a great time doing it and we also enjoyed the video afterwards so what what's what's yours so i chose three and i wanted to choose three for different reasons so um not in any particular order but one of them was uh bella lugosi's dead and for all the reasons you were talking about, um, how you've been playing it forever, so I've been listening to you play it forever, and I was able to do it. And we, I think it was nice. I felt like we had our own style to the song. And, of course, it was super fun to play. And this, the way it turned out, I think it was just, it. I really liked I was impressed how it all went and the final product. It's well. also one of our most successful videos. Yeah. Other people liked it as well. Yeah. Uh, which is you know that's a that's well that's, that's nice when you have that plus. feeling and then yeah. others see that too so yeah, yeah absolutely yeah because it doesn't always work it doesn't <laughs> a lot of times we're like this is great it's great yeah. and and uh oh screensaver just kicked on right um, cut off you know a lot a lot of times we think something is 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 special and we really really enjoyed it and we really liked it and then almost nobody watches it uh and then at the same time there's stuff w that we were really not that happy with by the end, you know, at the at the end of the day, where we were really questioning it, and does this actually sound good? Right. And <laughs> then get a huge response. And then get a huge <laughs> response out of it. it. That that has happened. So it's hard to predict, and you know, of out course. of our <laughs> out of our originals, the one that did the best and got the most reaction and the most mm -hmm. comments, not only on YouTube but you know, people messaging me going, oh, that was really great. And I'm not going to say which song, because I, I love them all, but was the song that I was like, I don't know about this one. I'm not sure. I, yeah, no, I, think, I've, I think I messed up. Right. I don't think this is very good. Uh, and when we finally actually published it, I was a little bit like, eh. 
job put that out there. Yeah, do I really want to do this? <laughs> right. And then come to find out, you know, I was getting messages uh, from people saying, "Oh, that was excellent. I love that. I've, I've listened to it. I've listened to it five times today." Yeah. Okay, so moving on, what was your next favorite? Okay, so the next one was In Bloom by Nirvana. <laughs> Sell the kids for food. Weather changes moves. And I think that one, I think that turned out great too. I like the way it turned out. It was a lot of fun for me to play. It had a little, um, I don't know, a different style when we were playing it that I had to kind of learn, but it all came together. And of course, Nirvana has been a huge influence in musically. So for it, us, for, yeah. yeah, we're not talking about the world. Everybody knows Nirvana was a <laughs> no, huge for us, influence for the world. Yeah. We're big, we're big Nirvana fans. Uh, we have been the for the entire 25 year of our year 25 years of our relationship we came into the relationship both being huge nirvana fans right okay so what was your next one okay so then the the last one would be uh throwing flotsam at the gods and that was the first song we did of the new year that you wrote you wrote the songs you, you wrote everything of course and then i you just gave me my part to learn but I, I really like that because I could, this was um, the original that we did together and it was something I felt proud of. You, I know you felt proud of too, but it came together and it kind of almost gave me hope as like, okay, we can do this. Like we can go from here and have original music. I can be a part of it, you know. <laughs> it was a it was so. a turning point. A turning point. It was there a you turning go. point. Uh, way to say, yeah. For full metal melt. It was. It was yeah. I had I'd started to finally start figuring out songwriting again. I did a lot of it uh, when I was younger and then I stopped because I had to go and like weld on oil rigs and you know right. all the goofy things that go along with being, you know, married with children. Uh, and it, I, I started to actually get a little bit of confidence in songwriting again. Uh-huh. Uh, like and that. your guitar playing had progressed to a, a level that we could actually do some of the things that I was picturing in my head. Right. So we can, yeah, moving forward and stuff. So it was kind of neat just to start the whole year with that. And then, of course, the whole month of January, you wrote a song a each. song every, every single week. Every week for, after that. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. And we will have another brand new song uh, next, next week. week. Yep. Uh, this one, we play every single instrument, every single one, uh, including the drums. Right. Every uh, There won't be any samples of any kind in the next video. It'll all just be full metal mount. That'll be exciting, too. Yeah. So for me... My three favorite videos. Uh, the first one would be when we covered the theme song to the TV show MASH. Game of life is hard to play. Gonna lose anyway. The losing card of some delay. So this is all I have to say. As suicide is paid. And did kind of a like a stoner doom metal version of it, and the reason for that is I don't I, I'm not saying we did a particularly good version of it or anything, but it had lots of sentimental value for me because my grandma G, I was my grandma's favorite, and I spent a lot of my life living at her house growing up, and every day. We would sit there, and she would eat tomato soup. It was, I think, it was probably like seven o'clock at night. We'd watch mash reruns, and she'd eat tomato soup until she fell asleep. Right. Uh, and then she'd have to wake up and actually go to bed. So it was really doing that song, which is kind of a. I mean, it's a really dark song. It actually. is. <laughs> I mean, it's 
It's all about suicide and everything. Once I listen to the actual words, I'm like, oh, okay. I had told you, I'm like, it's it's a lot darker than what you're thinking it is. Yeah, because I know you know the tune, yeah. but I don't know the words to it. But I'm like, mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So my next one was when we covered Trucker Speed with Mishka Shubali. Got her letter in an old mailbox. I forgot I had it. Truck stop, read it once and then I read it again. I could hardly keep from crying. Uh, with him singing and play, playing guitar, me playing guitar, and you playing bass. That one, uh, most people know that Mishka and I are very, very, very close friends. And we also share a love of, of of all things guitar. Yeah. But we have very, very different styles and very, very different taste in guitars and guitar tone. I lean heavily towards uh, doom and stoner metal, uh, and and Mishka doesn't. You know, he he uh, he leans a lot more towards singer songwriter stuff. Uh, you know, like a, a good amp to Mishka is some old vintage tube amp that was bought in a Sears catalog in the 50s. Right. And then you turn it up just far enough, just enough that it just slightly starts to break up. And that's his perfectly perfect tone. Usually with some vintage, uh, like silver tone or something like that. Right. Uh, that's all beat up with a single coil pickup and ultra clean. And I obviously, I mean, my favorite guitar is this Les Paul. I like humbuckers. I like orange amps because I just love that fizzly uh, fuzz that they produce. Yeah. Uh, so for us to, to do a song with Mishka, you know, one of my absolute best friends, well, that was a blast for me. That was a blast. I absolutely loved it. My next one uh, was when we covered uh, Dio, Holy Diver, with Gene Russo. Look out, wait for the morning, hide the sun to see the light, holy way, it's all right. You gotta get away, get away. Yeah. Uh, Gene is also a very close friend of mine. Uh, she's basically my big sister uh, that I never asked for, and she abuses me like a big sister. Mm -hmm. She can also really, really sing, and she is a maniac. And it's our most viewed video, and it was also one of the most fun videos that we've ever done. That was so much fun, yeah. Jean literally dressed up like a Viking and brought a fake sword <laughs> and a horned helmet and went absolutely crazy in our tiny little space and it was actually a song that i didn't want to do because i was gonna have to teach you how to play it and yeah it's actually it's a hard song to play uh and then i got drunk and changed my mind and then told gene yep we're doing it do it yep so then i had to teach you how to play the song yeah and i had to learn this play the song myself and i had to learn the solo <laughs> And then Jean showed up, and we had a couple of adult beverages, and she proceeded to crush. Oh, yeah, yeah. And made it so much fun, and then hung out for the entire editing process, which is great, because I hadn't seen Jean in a long time. I mean, of course, we had masks on and, you know, yeah, all of that good stuff. Uh, but it was, you know, like, I love Jean, and I really missed hanging out with Jean. And right. she came back and did another Christmas song with us right. as well. And we will do more songs with Jean. We're just kind of waiting for everything to calm down Clear here <laughs> in, in Arizona. Yeah. But those were, those were my favorite ones of the entire year. That's it, yep. Uh, so, in closing... Full Metal Mel is not going anywhere. Uh, we will be doing the exact same thing. Throughout, Part two. <laughs> yeah, th throughout 2021. Yep. We're, I mean, I, I can't speak for you. I'm personally really enjoying it. I've had an absolute blast. It gives us, it gives a direction to my creative energy throughout the week. 
And I look forward to it all week long. I look forward to Friday night jamming and practicing the song. Uh, and then, of course, we usually end up vegging out on, on Led Zeppelin or The Doors or oh, Sleep yeah, or yeah. Clutch or something. Whatever. Yeah, just getting into the music, though, yeah. Uh, so. And then I love Saturday actual performance day mm -hmm. uh, where we, you know, get cleaned up and change our clothes and... And, uh, put on a little show. <laughs> put on a little show. Uh, and eventually, we would like to put on a little show live once it's safe to do so. Yeah. You know, we will be looking into doing something like that eventually. Right. Uh, but for now, we can't. And for now, we're going to sit here and in the office and, uh, and continue to play a song every week right and we'll get our songs together all yep. the originals to be ready to play so <laughs> exactly exactly so anything you want to add or need to add or uh, basically you know the same thing i just totally enjoy practicing by myself each week and then coming together on friday nights you know putting it both of us together and then recording on saturday and i think that really has upped my progression just because it was i you have to be ready or you know you gotta, te you gotta treat it like a job yeah, yeah. yeah and i did i treated it seriously whereas every single night i would go and practice on my own and just make sure i got it and and all that and so learning the little new techniques and you know everything and just the process of learning a song week after week after week is you know just a lot yeah it helped a lot to help me learn and so i am excited to see from where we're at now, you know, to keep going. <laughs> and personally, my own progression to see what I'm able to do after, a, you know, the next year's uh, video that we'll be doing. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't wait to see it. Yes. Uh, in closing, uh, we would like to thank everybody who watches every week. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we would like to thank uh, both Mishka and Jean for... Uh, coming and playing with us and and also being very very supportive of this endeavor oh yes uh and we're gonna keep doing what we're doing and uh we'll uh we'll see you next week all right